Welcome to Sony Ericsson Support. In this video, we'll give you an overview of Sony Ericsson Bridge for Mac. Sony Ericsson Bridge for Mac enables you to transfer music, video, podcasts, and playlists from your Mac computer to your Sony Ericsson phone. You can delete files on your phone to free up memory. You can also import photos and files from your phone to iPhoto or folders on your Mac computer. Sony Ericsson Bridge for Mac can be downloaded at www.sonyericsson.com forward slash support. To start using your phone with Sony Ericsson Bridge for Mac after you've installed it, you must first connect your phone to your computer. Press the menu key. Tap Settings. Tap Sony Ericsson. Tap Connectivity. Tap USB Connection Mode. Select Media Transfer Mode and tap OK. Now connect your phone to the computer with the USB cable. In case your Mac OS doesn't support MTP, you can choose Mass Storage Mode instead. If this is the case, there are two extra steps you have to do after connecting your phone to the cable. Pull the status bar down. Tap Connect Your Phone. Then tap Connect Phone Memory Card. When your phone is connected, you can easily transfer your photos, music and videos to and from your computer. To the left of the screen, there is a pane from which you can access your iTunes library, iPhoto library, or just browse the content of your phone. To import your photos to iPhoto, click on Import Photos in the top of the window. Choose the photos you want to import and click Import Selected or click Import All. Your photos are now imported into iPhoto. If you don't use iPhoto, you can add any folder in the left pane of the Sony Ericsson Bridge for Mac. Click on My Folders under either the Music category or the Picture category. Click on Add Folder. Choose your personal music or picture folder and click Open. Now your folder is available for transferring files. It's also possible to browse and transfer any file from your phone. Click on the Phone Browser. Locate the file you want to transfer. In this example, we will transfer a picture. So we browse to the folder where the pictures are located. Now just click on the file and drag and drop it to the desktop or the folder you want to put it in. Thank you for taking the time to view this film. You'll find more information about your phone by visiting the support zone, where you can improve your user experience.